So we talked about how to set up the camera shake in the last video and I showed you what settings I use, but I didn't really explain how those settings worked in case you wanted to change them. So here's a quick summary on controlling the camera shake blueprint. First and easiest thing to understand is down here under duration. This controls how long the shake lasts. So if we set this to two, then you will see the shake lasts for two seconds. Now amplitude multiplier determines the size and distance of the shake. So here you can see when amplitude is something small like 20, the shake is pretty minimal. But if we set this to something like 150, now the shake goes all over the place. Now frequency determines how many times the shake is gonna happen. So if we set this to something small like five, the number of shakes is gonna be pretty low. But if we set this to something higher like 30, then it's gonna shake a lot more. Blend in time and blend out time just determine how smooth the camera goes from not shaking to shaking and from shaking to not shaking. The lower these numbers, the more abrupt the camera shake transitions are going to be. And those are really all the shake controls that I use for 90% of all my stuff. So you can mess with these other numbers if you want, but those are the ones that are going to give you the most mileage. So, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.